Hello everyone, welcome to PCS Success Will. Let's do the current affairs for 21st June 2022. Before doing the current affairs, let's move to the quote of the day. And today's quote is, one who can't determine his goals can't win. So those who are not clear about his her goals, they can't hope to win. And this famous quote is by Chanakya, the great Indian philosopher. Before proceeding, we will take one question, that is question of the day. And the question is, which country has become first to legalize the digital currency? Which country has become first to legalize the digital currency? And the options are A. Nigeria, B. Finland, C. Jamaica, D. Venezuela. Those who know the answer, please ping the answer in the comment box. And I will tell the answer in the upcoming slides. So, today is 21st June and as we all know, today is International Yoga Day. Yoga has its roots in India itself. And what is yoga? So, yoga is an ancient physical, mental and spiritual practice that originated in India. The word yoga derived from Sanskrit which means to join or unite. Yoga. Yog matlab kul jorna. So, 21st June was declared as International Yoga Day by UN in 2014 at the Initiative of India by the Indian Prime Minister Sri Narendra Modi. And this day is celebrated to raise awareness about the benefits of yoga. And during COVID-19 period, the world itself has recognized the benefits of yoga to the great extent and this year theme theme for international yoga day 2022 will be yoga for humanity so we are celebrating international yoga day with the theme yoga for humanity and this year the eighth edition of international day of yoga is important in many ways this year india has selected 75 iconic sites all over the country and each place will be represented by the cabinet minister and the representative from a state all over India. And Prime Minister Narendra Modi will lead the yoga day from Masuru Palace. And the first international yoga day, it was celebrated on 1st, 21st June 2015. And since then, it has been 8th edition of International Day of Yoga. And this year, Brand India at Global Stage will also be focused and it will be showcasing its iconic places all over the country. Also, this year, Yoga Day will feature an innovative program, Guardian Ring, celebrating the movement of sun and the concept of one sun, one earth. So, what is Guardian Ring? Guardian Ring. So, Guardian Ring, it is an innovative collaborative exercise between 80 countries, United Nations Organization and Indian Mission and Embassies abroad to illustrate the unifying power of yoga. So, on this day, or from people across the globe, from east to west, they will welcome the sun with Surya Namaskar and various other yoga practices next coming to the current affairs for today and the first one is solidarity 2023 a joint border operation for SCO member countries is proposed by which country so solidarity 2023 has been proposed by China and we must know something about SCO for prelims perspective, SEO Foundation, its members, aim and objective, also the official language, these are important for prelims and in GS2 section of UPSC also in BPSC, SEO is important in international government organization section so we will be doing few things about 
एस सी ओ दैट इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर प्लिम्स हेयर सो संघाई कॉपोरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन दैट इज एस सी ओ इज अ परमानेंट इंटर गवर्नमेंटल इंटरनेशनल पोलिटिकल इकोनॉमिक एंड मिलिट्री ऑर्गेनाइजेशन टू मेंटेन पीस स्टेबिलिटी एंड सिक्योरिटी इन द रीजन द रीजन हेयर इज यूरेशियन रीजन वी आर टॉकिंग अबाउट द यूरेशियन रीजन एंड एस सी ओ हेड क्वार्टर इज एट बीजिंग चाइना एंड इट हैज नाइन मेम्बर्स एट प्रेजेंट ईरान हैज बिन द रिसेंट एडिसन इन प्रीवियस टू एडिशंस वेर इंडिया एंड पाकिस्तान इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन सो नाउ द प्रजेंट एस सी ओ मेम्बर्स आर ईरान इंडिया पाकिस्तान चाइना रसिया उजबेकिस्तान ताजिकिस्तान कजाकिस्तान किर्गिस्तान सो एस सी ओ वॉज फॉर्मड इन ईयर टू थाउजेंड वन विद एडिसन ऑफ उजबेकिस्तान बिफोर इट वॉज संघाई कॉरपोरेशन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन and it has five members china russia tajikistan kazakhstan and kyrgyzstan so uzbekistan was added in 2001 and later india and pakistan was added and now iran is also the member of sco and official language of sco is russian as well as chinese and there are three observer state afghanistan belarus and mongolia iran was also a observer state for more than 15 years and there are six dialogue partners for sco these are armenia azerbaijan cambodia nepal sri lanka and turkey now known as turkey next sco permanent body so there are two permanent body of sco sco secretariat located at beijing and rats regional anti terrorist structure at tashkent so rats main goal is to combat terrorism separatism extremism in the eurasian region also India is the current chair of the Executive Council of SCO Rats and India will host the SCO Rats Council meeting at in October this year Uzbekistan is the SCO chair for 2022 and next year India will hold the chair also the significance of SCO lies in the sentence that SCO covers 40% of the global population 30% of the global gdp and 22% of the world's land mass so this organization become immensely important next which institution released a report title payment vision 2025 so the report title payment vision 2025 has been released by rbi rbi was established on 1st april 1st april 1935 in kolkata and on the recommendation rbi of india was set up on the basis of the recommendation of hilton young commission this is static gk and very important for exam it may be asked and coming to the payment vision report 2025 so the main features of this report are it focus on the architecture of the digital finance so this is a era of digital finance and the main feature of this report is also digital finance it includes some guidelines regarding the regulation of big techs and fintechs in payment sector also it includes guidelines on payment like buy now pay later services and also it will be introducing central bank digital currency so central bank digital currency what this term means central bank digital currency is electronic record or digital token of the financial currency by the monetary authority of the nation that is rbi in the case of india so the question which i asked previously that which country has legalized the digital currency the first country to legalize the digital currency and the answer is jamaica jamaica has legalized its digital currency and also if we see then nigeria let's go to the question that i asked regarding the digital currency so nigeria nigeria is also going to uh, introduce its digital currency that is called naira and venezuela as bolivar 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 is digital currency of uh, venezuela that is going to come very soon and also south korea is planning to have digital one 
distal one. So Jamaica is the first country to legalize the digital currency. Next, moving to the question of current affairs for the day. Now, Gaia Mission is associated with which space agency? So, Gaia Mission is associated with the European Space Agency, and European uh, Space Agency is a multinational agency with twenty-two members at present, and its headquarters is at Paris, established in thirtieth May nineteen seventy-five. So, UK that is now out of European Union, but still it is a member of ESA. ESA. So, Gaia mission of ESA recently revealed the phenomenon of star quakes. So, this is in news because of the phenomenon of star quakes. And what is a star quakes? A star quakes are massive movement on the surface of the star, similar to the earthquake or tsunami that we witness on the surface of the Earth. And what Gaia mission basic achievement? So, it studied one point eight million billion of stars in the Milky Way galaxy and revealed the largest chemical map of the Milky Way galaxy. which includes age of the stars mass chemical composition of the stars color temperature and metal content of the stars so the star quake looks something like this it's like tsunami on the surface of the star next what is fujian fujian is launched by which country so fujian fujian is launched by china and what is fujian fujian is third aircraft carrier of china after lining and sandong and it is also the first fully domesticated built naval vessel of china china plans to have five more uh, aircraft carrier and the next one will be nuclear powered let's talk about india so india has only one ins vikramadit that is operational aircraft carrier and it is stationed in the western seabed it is russian made aircraft carrier russian made and also india is going to soon have ins vikrant and it will be the first indigenously built aircraft carrier and it will be symbol of atmanirbhar bharat also and it will be commissioned on 15th august 2022 marking the 75th year of independence next gliscropus megalemus belongs to which species so gliscropus meg megalemus this is the species of bats and you can have a basic trick in your mind re remembering this because these terms are hard to remember for exam perspective and when you are asked asked that gliscropus megalemus is uh, belongs to which species so meghalaya has maximum species of bats in our country that is 67 species of bats meghalaya has and india has total bat species of 131 so meghalaya has largest number of bat species so through the term meghalemus we can remember that it is a species of bat as maximum bat species are found in meghalaya so these are bamboo dwelling bats found in meghalaya gliscropus meghalemus now meghalaya is sorry meghalaya is also in news this year as it is celebrating its 50th year of statehood Meghalaya was carved out of out of Assam in 1970 and given full statehood on 21st January 1972. Next, Mapillary AB, the Swedish mapping company, has been acquired by. So Mapillary AB has been acquired by Facebook. So Mapillary AB is a technology startup that crowdsources street level imagery to build up to date maps. And what? facebook will be using with this and facebook will use mapillary for product like marketplace and supply data to the humanitarian organization all over the world next world sickle cell day is an annual observation which takes place on so world sickle cell day is observed on 19th june and it is celebrated to create awareness about the disease and its treatment so it was first recognized in 2008 and celebrated since 2009 and what is sickle cell disease so it is a group of inherited disorder 
it is a group of inherited disorder that affects the shape of red blood cells which carries oxygen to all parts of the body what does red blood cells do it carries oxygen to all parts of the body it is also known as erythrocytes and this disease causes misshape of the rbc so it causes the misshape of rbc distortion in the shape of the red blood cells and due to this the blood cells are short lived and this redu reduces the count of red blood cells too so through the picture we can see that these are normal rbc these are normal rbcs and this sickle shape so sickle is a tool to cut the wheat like plants and its shape is like this and the rbc after getting affected from the sickle cell disease the shape becomes like this so these are normal rbcs and this is affected by the disease next india is said to serve as the president of unsc in which month so the answer is august unsc president is held presidency is held by each member in turn for one month in the alphabetical order and in june the presidency is with albania albania and we must know that unsc has five permanent members namely china united kingdom united states russia and france and these members have a special veto power these members have veto power with them and this is a very powerful tool we can say that veto is a very powerful tool with these five nations and we using these uh, this veto power these nation often block the resolution that they don't find to be suited in their favor and also we will see that this year recently very recent we have seen that abdul rahman makki a us designated terrorist china has blocked the resolution moved by us and india to designate this pakistani terrorist in un so there are 10 non permanent members and each for 2 years and this and uh, presently india albania brazil gabon ghana ireland kenya mexico and norway uae these are the 10 non permanent members of uae sorry unsc next who has won gold medal at the ongoing kotani games in finland on 18th june so the kotani games being conducted in finland the gold medal is won by neeraj chopra from india and the best throw by him was 86.69 meter and he has been in news in recent days also for breaking his own record of 89.30 meter at the pavo nurmi games 2022 neeraj chopra is track and field athlete and also the first to win gold in this field in olympic from india he is a junior commissioned officer in indian army next which country has emerged as the top buyer of indian broken rice in the year 2021 and 20 22 so financial year 21 and 22 so with the import of 16.34 lakh million ton of total rice that has been exported from india the total export from india is 212.10 lakh metric ton and the, uh, out of this 16.3 lakh metric ton goes to china and out of this 16.3 lakh metric ton 97% of the rice was broken rice that is imported by china from india so before the broken rice export was maximum to the african countries from india but this year china uh, the share of china is maximum it is the top importer of the broken rice from india let's see the trading partner top trading partner of india in the fiscal year 2021 and 2022 so us stands at the top with the total trade of 119.42 billion us dollar and also it is interesting to know that us are is among the few countries that india has trade surplus trade surplus so trade surplus with us is around 
थर्टी टू पॉइंट एट बिलियन यू एस डॉलर बट द सेकेंड ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर दैट इज़ चाइना विथ यू एस डॉलर वन हंड्रेड फिफ्टीन पॉइंट फोर टू बिलियन डॉलर ट्रेड सो हेयर वी हैव ह्यूज ट्रेड डिफिसिट ट्रेड डिफिसिट विथ चाइना विद ऑफ अराउंड सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट नाइन बिलियन यू एस डॉलर एंड इट इज़ एग्जैक्टली सेम एज द टोटल ट्रेड विथ यूनाइटेड अरब एमिरट्स द सो थर्ड ट्रेडिंग पार्टनर इज यू ए विथ यू एस डॉलर सेवेंटी टू पॉइंट नाइन बिलियन ट्रेड एंड दिस इज एग्जैक्टली सेम एज द ट्रेड डिफिसिट विथ चाइना दैट इंडिया हैज सो दीज आर इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर एग्जाम परस्पेक्टिव एंड हेयर कम्स द एंड ऑफ टूडे करेंट अफेयर सेशन होप यू लाइक इट नेक्स्ट डे वी विल बी कमिंग विद द करेंट अफेयर फॉर ट्वेंटी सेकेंड जून हैव अ नाइस डे बाय